So the same as in programming, SQL has functions, and you can define your own functions as well. Uh, SQL has several built-in, very useful functions, many too many to cover in a video. But I can show you some of the basic ones, and then uh, using the online documentation, or my favorite friend, and probably yours is Google, you can find all sorts of functions to do to do what you're trying to accomplish. Um, however, if there's a function that doesn't do what you're trying to accomplish, uh, feel free to write it, and I'll show you, show you how to do that a little later. Uh, so, so we've already seen a few uh, functions, the aggregate versions, the average, the min, the max, all those sort of things. Um, let's declare a variable here. Declare at my var, let's say var char, I'm just going to put 100 out here. And set at my var, let's set it to eh, Jamie, sure. Okay, um, so there's a bunch of string functions. For example, I can say print, well print's a function itself. I'm going to print the upper of at my var, which simply runs through and uppercases every letter. I could also take the length of the string, which is five, and uh, maybe you want to iterate through every character in my in my var char or string, whichever one you want to call it. Uh, I can also reverse the string. Um, I can take a substring, which, it's variables, this, uh, it's argument list, it's basically the string you want to take the substring of, where you want to start, and how long you want to go for. So here we got AM at a J-A-M-I-E. Notice the uh, strings are one-based, not zero-based, as they are in other programming languages. Don't let that bite you, for sure. And then there's the date functions. Um, print, a lot, something I use a lot is get date. We want to get the current date. Often we'll use the uh, get date function to as a default value in a table so when we insert a record into a row we we want to record the time of that of that date where that uh, occurred so we'll say get date um, other date functions uh, get I believe it's UTC date which gets you the date and time at the I can't remember what UTC is but basically the time in Greenwich England which all dates and times are based upon so uh, if you want to be uh, time zone agnostic UTC d date is great for that. There's uh, also several other functions that allow you to query the metadata information of a table. For example, um, if I remember right, there was call, yeah, call length um, table here. Let's do customers and contact names. So notice I'm putting contact name. I'm putting strings in for the the table information. If I run that, it looks like contact names are defined to be 60, which is 60 bytes. If you look at the, uh, let's see, the object explorer here, let's drill down into the customers table. Customers and columns and look at contact name. You see it's nvarchar30, so n means national, meaning two byte uh, Unicode value. And so that's why we get 60, because every char takes up two bytes, and so that's why it returns 60. I had a client one time ask me, they wanted a snapshot of their database so they could do some testing with some new code they were going to do. So they basically handed me an 8 gig file, uh, which was their database file, and said, please reduce it down to 50 megs. So I just used all the a uh, bunch of metadata functions, such as um, table size and things like that. It's all in there. You can Google away and basically found the tables with the most data in there and said delete everything except the top 10 rows. And, and, and in the next video I'll show you how to create your own.